subscribe to our youtube channel for in-depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates Hello and welcome to Nirmal Bang, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hilal Dadia. We have with us Kunalsha, head of commodities research, joining in. Kunal, welcome to the show. Overall, with regards to where the group is concerned, it seems that the downtrend could be expect. I mean, could be continued because overall, if you see Saudi Arabia as well, they've gone ahead and cut the pricing for oil sales in October, and this is clearly giving us signals that they are seeing fuel demand, which is wavering. On the back of higher coronavirus cases around, uh, does this also signal us that yes, prices are expected to go down on the back of lower demand? Yeah, there are two things which is basically uh, leading into the correction in oil. One is the uh, cases in U.S. cases in Brazil, South America is continue continue to rise. and even in india which is also one of the largest energy producer the cases continue to increase so the fuel demand is definitely going to take a adverse hit there are no signs of corona virus crisis abating right now and that is one reason and another reason is that the strengthening of the dollar the us dollar has been strengthening so we have seen in spite of such a bullish scenario gold silver so we had uh the geopolitical tension we had uh, uh, all sort of problems in the global economy so in spite of everything you know the, the dollar continues to move up, move up today also as of this moment dollar index is trading in 93 so this itself is a sign that the stronger dollar will restrict the major upside in the commodities for the time being so oil i think can test 2820 2830 on mcx those are the levels i'll recommend to uh, book your short positions and perhaps starts to start to go long so th that is the view for oil right and overall you know in spite of the kind of movement that we are seeing with regards to where the dollar goes after the fall that we've seen on the last couple of trading sessions in terms of gold and silver today there is some bit of respite that has come in silver has jumped gold has jumped in fact Uh, is it right to say that gold is finding some bit of support at fifty thousand uh, per ten gram level? Yeah, so not even fifty thousand. Fifty thousand five hundred is a strong support for gold, and every time we are seeing uh, gold um, testing five fifty thousand five hundred, fifty thousand four hundred, it is retracing back again to the upside. So that will continue to remain there. Mm -hmm. uh, our view is uh, we can see some upside in gold during evening session. a uh, maximum till 51100 1150 for silver 68500 to 68600 uh, those are the levels where i recommend to go short uh, for evening session for trading perspective you can go long but the levels where i mentioned those levels i would recommend to go short because like i said the strength in dollar should uh, not lead to a major upside in the prices of bullion so uh on the downside silver support is seen at 67000 and gold uh, 50500 right and on the base metals front as well we did see some bit of an up move that did come in in today's uh, early trade uh, there is some sort of stability that we are seeing right now what should be the strategy because you have been advising uh, you know shorting copper right now at least uh, does that continue to remain the strategy for copper or any other recommendations coming in apart from that the copper uh, like it it went down and uh, it, uh, on friday and suddenly we saw 6 7 rupees upside the pro the thing with the copper is that the supply side is very weak and the uh, the stock like i explained one week back the stock in lme warehouses are at a uh, record low uh, 10 i think it is the low of 2005 so how uh, no, there is no major so i would recommend to go short in metals like lead or something like aluminum where uh, you are not seeing that major uh, you know shortage so aluminum around 147 you can go short 145 to 144 is should be the target lead 156 157 you can short and expect it to go down to levels of uh, 152 to 151 that is a good strategy for shorting uh, in base metals 
right? And anything on the agri commodity side, you have been positive on Guargam as well as Chana. Anything that looks interesting now? So I think the way oil prices have went down, uh, Guar is also taking a hit, and uh, uh, I think it can go down and test levels of thirty eight hundred. But I'm not bearish. One should start accumulating Guar at that levels. The crop in India is going to be less by at least twenty to twenty two percent. So uh, thirty eight hundred would be a good buy. For trading, you can go short and expect it to go down till thirty eight hundred. Another hundred rupees downside is what I'm expecting. Right, so that's what is coming in. In fact, uh, there's one question coming in Kunal from Abhishek that for trading purpose, uh, can they buy MCX Bulldex at fifteen thousand nine hundred level? Yeah. So uh, yes, you can buy uh, at current level, and you can expect it to go up by eighty two hundred points for the uh, absolute jobbing or trading, whatever terminology you want to use. But again, I'm saying the same thing. Uh, till the dollar index corrects sharply, I would recommend you to book your profits. You know, uh, at 100, 120 rupees upside. Right. right. So that's the word coming in with regards to where uh, Abhishek's question goes. I think these are the only questions that we have, and we've covered most of them. Uh, thank you so much, Kanal, for joining in. Thank you, participants, for being a part of the show as well. Uh, we will see you back on Wednesday, but on Wednesday it will be at 4 p.m. Thank you so much for joining. Thank <laughs> you.